hello everyone uh, welcome back so these two questions we are going to see now uh, how to handle the style element reference exception okay so very common exception i will uh, face in your automation framework when we run the automation and the second one is script timeout exception okay so maybe uh, you might have heard about this exception so we'll see how we can handle these two ty uh, types of exception so this will definitely help you in the interviews as well okay so what we can do uh, first we will see how we get the style element reference exception okay so basically when you move uh, let's say you created a web element okay for any web element on a web page if you create a web element and then if you move to another web page or uh, that web page get refreshed then html dom content will be refreshed right so whatever reference you have created for that web element will become old right because you created the web element and then you refresh or you uh, move to another page and then you come back to the previous page okay so this reference will be old reference right that will become stale and that will give you the stale uh, element reference exception okay so let's see uh, let's run this piece of code and uh, let's see whether we will get the exception or not so we'll just go to the google.com and we'll try to click on the the google doodle here so we are going to try to click on this google so before clicking we are going to refresh the web page okay so web page got refreshed but it did not click on the doodle so we will see what exception we got here style element reference exception okay and what is the line number and this is the line number we got that exception okay just click on that so you can see after page refresh while clicking on that google total element we got the style element reference exception that means selenium is unable to click on this web element even though it is available and we are able to see on the web page okay that element is completely visible but the reference that we have created for that web element become old okay so how we can handle this kind of exception okay so it's not uh, every time you will get this exception after the page refresh or if you move to another page and come back to the previous page but whenever this exception occurs how we can handle that okay so in interviews also if you someone ask this i will uh, show you two ways so here i will put this click statement inside the try catch okay okay so this can be the statement where we can get the exception so that statement should be in the uh, try block and in the catch i will write stale element reference exception okay if you get stale element then what you can do so what we can do is we can create the reference again okay so after the page refresh it becomes uh, the old reference okay the reference becomes stale then you will create the reference again so you just need to copy the statement again okay now this reference will be the fresh reference and selenium should able to click on that uh, element now so with the fresh reference we can click on that web element now so this is for style element reference exception okay so i will write one more catch block here for any kind of other exception okay so that can be uh, let's say any selenium web drawer exception so i will write web drawer exception so any other web drawer exception just print that exception okay so accordingly we can handle it for let's say no such element exception right timeout exception like that so that we will going to print in the console so this is the one way if you get the exception it will go to the cache block it will create the fresh reference okay so this name should be same as you have created for the web element okay so this is the reference variable and again we are creating the web element using the draw dot find element okay so let's try to run this code now and let's see whether it will work or not so in most of the cases this uh, method should work if we get the style element reference exception okay so it page got refreshed and still we got the exception let me check uh no such session exception let me check that why it is giving the no such session exception that might be due to internet issue let me rerun this so page got refreshed okay so this time we got our test case passed okay and no exception so to verify that let's print some statement here 
fresh reference again. Okay, we got the pass result and you can see this statement is shown. That means the out control goes into the this cache block that that because we got the stale element reference exception in this statement. Okay. So this is the one way by which we can handle the stale element reference exception and this should work in most of the cases. Okay. Sometimes we need to refresh the web page as well before this uh, creating the web element here we can refresh the web page as well. You can try this. If if, if this method doesn't work you can try to refresh page okay you just need to place this statement again so let's see the second way now so in second way we can use the web drawer wait uh, expected condition this is the method that we can use staleness of web element okay so if you got the staleness of this google doodle if it is false that means this method is going to uh, return false if it uh, element is attached to the dom okay that means that reference does not become old it is a fresh reference in that case you will get the false okay and it will directly click the click on that web element okay so this method will return the true when the element is not attached to the dom okay so this google doodle the reference for this google doodle is become old then in that case it will go to this else, bo uh, else block right and uh, it will use this refreshed method Okay, so using this refresh method, we are going to try to refresh the stale element reference. Okay, so once we refresh that uh, reference for that stale element, then it again become the fresh and then again we are going to click on that web element. Okay, so this method uh, also work in most of the cases. You can try any one of these way. So now let's see the script timeout exception. Okay, so in your framework while running the automation, if any asynchronous script taking more time than the expected, then that will give the timeout exception. That will be the script timeout exception. For the asynchronous script does not completed within the time. So for every browser when you open the driver, the by default script uh, timeout, uh, timeout is provided. Okay, it is around 30 seconds. So that asynchronous script, if it does not completed within the 30 seconds, then this exception will be occurred in the Selenium. Okay, so let's first see uh, what is the uh, default script timeout given to the browser. So this statement will simply print the current driver capabilities. Okay, so this we have already seen by using the remote web driver method get capabilities. Okay, so we just have cast our driver into the remote web driver to use this get capabilities method. So that will print the current driver capabilities. So let's see what is the current browser uh, script timeout. Okay, by default given. Okay. So implicit zero page load uh, 300,000 and script timeout. Okay, this is the script timeout 30,000. That means 30 second. Okay, so if your asynchronous script does not complete within the 30 second, you will get the uh, script timeout exception. So you just need to increase this script timeout. Okay, to the different values as per your application. So how we can increase this? That means we need to uh, set the capability for our Chrome browser. Okay, so we can set the capabilities by using the Chrome Options class. Okay, that we already seen in the previous session. So I will use the Chrome Options class here. So I will create a map object so that we can set the script and its value. Okay, key and value. So in this map, uh, I have put one value for the script and value is 100 second. Okay, so I am increasing from 30 second to 100 second. So I will just require to set the capability now. So options dot set capability. okay so what capability you need to set that is the timeout capability so this timeouts okay that means this one i'm setting whatever timeout map i have created here okay so just save it so before launching the browser i have set the browser capability and in that i have i am increasing this script timeout to 100 second okay so same should be displayed here uh, when we run the script so let's verify that so still a uh, script timeout is 30 seconds so we have set the capability by using the chrome option but we did not send it to the constructor okay so while opening the chrome driver you need to send this options chrome options reference 
okay that means while launching the chrome browser whatever capabilities i have set in the chrome options using this reference that capabilities will be given to the chrome browser current driver okay so this time it should open the browser but capabilities will be whatever we have set yes time out and here you can see 100 second so this is how you can increase the script timeout for your browser to handle the script timeout exception so i think uh, i have covered both the questions here uh, i think this will definitely help you in the interviews as well so let me know if you have question on this thank you